Coming up this week on Archer's Choice. This is for you, Ralph. When I'm out there, I'm just one of the other hunters. It's that time of year. I gotta burn stuff. Welcome to this week's Archer's Choice, and this week, well, is a little bit different. No, it's a lot of bit lot. different. So, like last, twenty years different. So it's this this week we're going to talk about the past twenty years of us, of Archer's Choice, of us on the Outdoor Channel. So we've got lots to go back to show you. So if you really want some laughs, yeah. gather up the whole family and be prepared to watch a crazy. Remedition? Rem, rem, Remedition? Rem, I don't even word? know. What's I that have word? no idea. Re, Anyways, redition, remed, forget resident. it. Just forget about it. But we're going to start off this week's show Remedition. with our very first Ever. Archer's Choice episode. On the Outdoor Channel. Right. Scary. Archer's Choice presents... Welcome to the Archer's Choice. We are a team of bow hunters who live for the sport just like you. Are you ready? Because we are, and excited to bring you the most exciting, entertaining, all bow hunting TV show that you've ever seen. You know, the Archer's Choice TV show has put together a team of bow hunters who live, dream, and breathe this great sport just like you. The goals of our show are simple, to bring you with us and share the good times, as well as some of the bad. But the bottom line here is to always keep it real. From down home hunting to budget-minded adventures, we'll be there together. From calling to crawling, from stand hunting to stalking, We'll do it together. So don't touch that remote control, because here's a sneak preview of what's to come on The Archer's Choice. We know we're very fortunate to be able to travel all over pursuing game with our bows. It seems no matter where we end up, there's a common bond when you meet other bow hunters. Our passions, emotions, thrills, and disappointments are evident in all our expressions as we share a story around the camp. Nothing can give us this adrenaline rush than to be within throwing distance of a wild animal, knowing it could hear your heart beating a million times a minute, and within seconds, it's over. Hunting, as is life, is an emotional roller coaster. We experience the highest of highs and the lowest of lows in just one release of the string. And that's what we're all about. Oh man, that main bean is all busted, but it's not a beautiful deer. The difference between being a woman in the outdoors and a man in the outdoors, obviously I'm not a man, I can't tell you what a man in the outdoors feels like, but to me, everyone says, you know, oh, you're a woman, you're in the outdoors, tell me, you know, what's it feel like? It feels like I'm out there hunting or I'm out there walking and hiking and there's no reason why there should be a division between men and women in the outdoors. Yes, there are a lot more men in the outdoors than there are women in the outdoors. And there's definitely not as many women hunting as there are men. But to actually put a difference that a man and a woman in the outdoors, when I'm out there, I'm just one of the other hunters. 
Now I feel old. Well, I'm gonna tell you what, you know, after you see all that, I started to realize, wow, you had like major hair issues. I had so many different hair issues over the 20 years that I know that, that there's just a lot. Now you didn't have any hair issues because you don't no, have any I hair. No, because I keep mine well groomed. No, it's because you have no hair. Well groomed. No hair. But should we go over and show some of the hairstyles? Yes, let's do it. <laughs> Get ready. Hey, Randy Walk here from Hoyt Archery. I just want to reach out and say congratulations to Ralph and Vicki Sansarello. 20 years on the Outdoor Channel, amazing. We love you guys. You've been the best supporters of our brand that we've ever had. Love you guys, wish you the best, best, best possible future. Congratulations. Welcome back. And now I think we should go and talk about what's changed over 20 years. In the, for, in the pricing and in the world. For sure, because a lot has. Now, lot we're not has. even including what just happened recently in our world. No. That, we've all been through that, and we're all, you know, thank God we're getting through it all. But since we first aired to now, has been a whole lot of things going on. From 2001 until now. Ooh. It's crazy. So much has changed. That that re really it has. it has. Some up, some down, some in between. Yeah. But the reality of it is, is if there's one thing we know, a fact of life, things are gonna change. The change is the only consistent thing in life. Did you know that? Just so you know. But, so the other thing that we're gonna do now, yes, is let's talk about the fun things that we've done. The bloopers. Over the 20 years. Now, Ralph has been very mean to me over the 20 years. I'm gonna show you now, right now. No. So, Ralph? Here, you give me an idea for it. Don't hit me. Nope. <laughs> Go on. Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. Stop throwing snowballs at me. Let's get back to David. <laughs> oh! Cross is hot! <laughs> yes! The arms. Oh my gosh! Right in the face! That was mean! I'm so sorry, honey. Yeah, right. So again, we hope you enjoyed this week's show. We'll see you next week, same time. Same channel. Right here on the Archer's, Archer's Choice. Choice. Do you want to uh, grab the arrows? Yeah, there's a lot of stuff. Okay. <laughs> what the Oh, man, eh? Hey! Hey, Mike. Come here. Mike. <laughs> you know the quiver of dreams. No. Yeah. Buddy, you can win. Yeah. I'm gonna throw up! <laughs> <laughs> Show him! Come on! Come on!
Oh man, I'm so pumped. I'm so let's, excited. Let's replay this little. I got what? I mean, were you like a ninja guy or what? It Folks, was that adrenaline. Is so okay. crazy. Okay. You had a sharp new archery. Pro I mean, that was I a know, razor it was back. A razor back. Yeah. You know, Did you see the penetration? Penetration. I got him. Let me show you, folks. Let me show you the shirt I was wearing when she when I was filming her. This was a perfectly fine shirt <laughs> until the Vixter started waving that broadhead around. Okay. And, I, I mean, might not have been, you know, practicing safe broadhead techniques. Yes, we we need to talk about practicing. Okay. I went to safe grab another arrow because he stopped. I was going to put a Honey, second I arrow in him, but then all of a sudden he fell backwards and all heck broke loose. Note: <laughs> when you shoot an animal and the animal goes down. Make sure you stick that sharp broadhead <laughs> back in the quiver, cause this can be dangerous. <laughs> Thanks, honey. Congratulations on 20 years on the Outdoor Channel. I mean, we go way back. I'm proud to consider you guys friends, longtime friends. I can remember shooting archery tournaments for the Monster Bucks DVDs way, way, way back when. That just means we're old, but 20 years in the Outdoor Channel, congratulations. Love you guys. So, so next, yes, next. We're, gonna, we're gonna go and show over oh. like, some of our favorite show openers. I mean, from the very beginning, 20 oh, years ago, we used to changed. have that music that would go. We thought you had to keep the same theme, you know what I mean? And we love that theme, yes. so we should just play it. Let's do it. We should do that again this year. Go, what 20 yards? <laughs> Am I excited? You bet you. Everybody, Mitch Petrie with Outdoor Channel. I just want to say thank you and congratulations, Ralph and Vicky. 20 years, Archer's Choice on Outdoor Channel. What an incredible story. We're looking forward to the next 20 years. Welcome back to the Archer's Choice for 20 years. 20. 20. Now, let's go nostalgia. Can you say nostalgia. that? Nostalgia. No, see, he still can't say it. Anyways, nostalgia. now we're going to go over some of our favorite yeah. moments over yes. the 20 years, which is... There's so many, we can't share them all, but. That's what life's made of is memories. And you know, we're fortunate because we have them on. On film. We have them on file. You know, this is your HS waterfowl tip of the week. If you can't dazzle them with brilliance, baffle them with. Is meat the best thing for it? See how it's getting all black and blue in there? It's getting all oh, dark. Wow. Maybe try putting some. Oh, maybe it's camel, camel makeup. makeup. <laughs> no work. That's long. 
Gotcha. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, is Ralph being really mean to mom? It was Vicky and Freddie's idea. It was not. It was. Lars, what do you got to say about that new light? Now that's a headlamp. <laughs> You're making me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> this one's for you, Ralph. <laughs> you little Italian. <laughs> really, it's a Gemsbuck tail from Africa. <laughs> and I brought it here because I, I wanted to make sure that I shot a bigger bearded gobbler than Vicky. <laughs> really bigger than anybody in this world <laughs> but we're gonna set this up is that a good beard oh my I tell you, look at his spurs you want to get the tape measure measure it yeah here here let's go get take that tape measure measure <laughs> Okay, so now we're gonna go from that to a special thing for us, to what, all parents And out all there. parents can understand yeah. this. This is actually RJ, our son. Well, y'all seen him from day one. And now yep. to watch him in the 20 years of seeing what he's he's grown up to be. My little man's not so little anymore. So he no. was born January 2001. First Archer's Choice episode aired April 2001. So he's been here for the whole ride. And it's been a hell of a ride. Hey, congrats, Randy and Josh. You guys did an awesome job. And what a great experience to be able to share that together, father and son. You know what, Vic? I can't wait to we're sharing know. it with this little guy. I know. Sooner or later. Buddy, you got a few more years before we can get you out in that tree stand, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah but not many, huh? But not many. Okay, it's Hunter, Dan, and Daddy. Coming after the big bear. All right, it's mine. He just said What do you so. mean it's Mommy's? Why? It's a big bear. Mommy gets the big bears, huh? You get the little right? Right, high five me on that one. Welcome to this week's Archer's Choice. Ask Daddy if he shot a bear in Alberta last year. No, don't ask that. Ask him. Don't ask oh. it. Ask him. Don't ask it. <laughs> Did you shoot don't. a bear and ask him? In Al oh. Alberta. No, in don't. Alberta? <laughs> no, don't ask that. Well, he didn't shoot one, did he? No, don't. You tell Mommy that Daddy passed him up. Go you ahead. didn't shoot one, did he? No, no, <laughs> you didn't understand. Tell Mommy that Daddy passed him mommy up. Mommy shot one and he didn't. No, don't say Mommy's that. Mommy shot one that he didn't. <laughs> Can you feel my pain? I'm RJ Santoro down in Florida. With Case, my best hunting buddy, going to shoot hogs. Yeah, pretty hard. Yeah, man. Come here. <clears throat> you little scud. <laughs> oh. Go. Him right on. You got it. It's your first bow hunting license. You're hunting on your first bow hunt, buddy. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah. He's got a bright orange Hoyt with him, too, so he's pretty pumped. This is actually, I think it's one of the first times he's, well, it's his first out of state license. Just, just don't, just don't panic, bud. Don't panic, bud. Don't panic. Hey, you just never do it easy, do you, bud? <laughs> You're good, buddy. Oh. <laughs> hey, you. <laughs> Oh, what are you trying to do to us? <laughs> oh my god. My gosh. <laughs> we were longer than that, man. RJ, you just shot a toad, buddy. You figure, RJ. That was an insane hunt. Yeah. Not too far from where you shot him at. It's great. <laughs> it's an awesome bear. Thank you. Nice, nice color. Proud of you, son. A lot of people Thank come up here and don't get a bear like this. I can guarantee you that. <laughs> they're here, but they're hard to get, and you've got one. <laughs> Especially colored. Oh, oh, yeah, for sure. Hey, there he is. <laughs> oh, <laughs> buddy. <laughs> oh, that is a book deer. That's RJ's first, first, first whitetail with a book. What can we tell you? 
to, to, to be fortunate and blessed enough to do this for 20 plus years in our life and, and to share it with all of you. Thank God for our sponsors and Absolutely. thank God for him upstairs. Absolutely. I mean, we can't thank everyone enough, all of you guys, for tuning in every week. And you know what? We're going to see you next week, same time. Same channel. Right here on, on The, the Archer's, Archer's Choice. Choice. And you never know what's going to come up next, do you? No, I don't.